so hi everyone i am jay and let's see the definition of the microprocessor the microprocessor is a multi purpose clock driven register based digital integrated circuit that accepts binary data as input processes it according to the instruction stored in its memory and provides result as output to simplify let's divide this definition into two parts the first part tells the characteristics of the microprocessor that is the microprocessor is a multi purpose clock driven means that it is working on some clock frequency for example the microprocessor in your laptop is working on 2.5 gigahertz or the microprocessor in your mobile phone is working on 1.9 gigahertz register based means that it is having some register to store temporary data and digital integrated circuit means that it is a digital ic the second part tells the function of the microprocessor to understand the second part we will take one example we will try to understand the second part by cooking noodles now you will tell me that sir everyone knows how to cook noodle but if you think so my friend you don't know this guy and how he cooks the noodle to cook the noodles you have to see the back side of the packet where you can find some instructions so you will read the first instruction which is to break the noodles into four parts after reading the first instruction you will find the noodles in the packet and break it into parts as first step is completed you will read the next instruction as per second instruction you will boil the noodles with taste maker in approximate 2 cups of water and the second step is also done and you will move to the third and last instruction so by reading the third instruction you will cook it for at least 2 minutes and congratulations you have made tasty noodles by your own so why this example is so important because the function of the microprocessor is quite similar so to understand let's see all the steps done by you to perform the first instruction to perform the first instruction you read that instruction that is to break the noodles after reading you try to understand that okay this is noodles and i have to break it into several parts and after that you actually performed it similarly microprocessor does that too in the memory all the instructions are stored the microprocessor will read the first instruction from memory by transferring it after reading just like you microprocessor will try to understand that instruction by decoding it and at last microprocessor will execute the instruction just like you actually broke the noodles now after performing the first instruction you move to the second instruction right so microprocessor will also follow all the steps for the second instruction and processor will keep doing that until all instructions in the memory are executed so as you can see the second part of the definition that it accepts binary data as input it means processor is transferring the instruction from the memory which is known as instruction fetch then it processes according to the instruction stored in its memory it means the microprocessor tries to understand that instruction which is known as instruction decode and after that it provides result as output it means processor works according to the instruction and that process is known as instruction execution so this is the actual meaning of the definition of the microprocessor and i hope you understand it properly and i think this is it for 
this definition and thank you so much